Welcome to the Change Revolution Podcast with your host, Phil Cook. You mentioned the phrase TV evangelist to anyone in this culture. It has negative connotations. TV evangelist might as well be used as con artist, con man, uh, somebody who's a cheat, somebody who's going to take your money or take your grandma's money. TV evangelist has become an incredibly negative term in this culture. You ever wonder why? I mean, what, are the, what is the big hair? Where does the gold furniture, where does all that excess come from? I've written a lot about Jesus junk, all the stuff they sell on religious television programs. It's all right here in this book. I wrote the book, The Last TV Evangelist, Why the Next Generation Couldn't Care Less About Religious Media Because I'm Concerned About It. The fact is, media is a great way to share our faith through television, through radio, through the internet. And yet, it's been used in such incredibly bad ways. If, you ever, if you've ever watched religious TV or, radio, or listened to radio, you know the problems that are out there. You know, the pro, they're cheesy, it's corny, it's bad stuff. And it puts a really bad perception about Christianity in the minds of the culture. So I wrote the book, The Last TV Evangelist, to get inside that world. And you'll see, for the first time, you'll see an intimate look in the way the world of Christian broadcasting and how it works out there. I'm talking really intimate look at how that world works. Get the book because it doesn't matter if you're a pastor or a ministry leader or just a regular person that's ever watched Christian television and gone, yuck, there's a way to change it. There's a way to do it better and there's a way we can impact the culture using media in a powerful new way. So the book, The Last TV Evangelist, Why the Next Generation Couldn't Care Less About Religious Media is for you. You should get it because I think it'll open your eyes to an incredible world out there. Join us for more of this conversation at Phil's Change Revolution blog at philcook.com. That's P-H-I-L-C-O-O-K-E dot com. And keep checking this podcast for more up-to-date dispatches from the front lines of media, faith, and culture.